it's a new trend and a new tool. A lot of people are like, you're using cows? And I'm like, yeah, yeah we are, we're, we're using cows. I'm gonna text all my friends about this like immediately. Cows have gentle giant souls. <laughs> they want to be loved on, they're curious, they're lovable. I call them my pasture puppies. It's a really unique experience. I don't think there's anything else quite like it. When's the last time that you've got to like hang out with a cow? A lot of people come out because they've never had experience with a cow. They've never gone beyond the fence. It's amazing. I'm so happy. I don't know that I have exactly the words. I love to watch the everyone else enjoy them because I know how much they fulfill me. Clarksville cow cuddling is basically what it sounds like. We brush and feed and snuggle the cows. I was actually a camp counselor and I would go out in the pastures with the big milking herd and read books and the milking herd actually came to me, laid down next to me and I started snuggling them and they would snuggle back and I thought I should share this with the world. They're so sweet and they're so warm and cuddly and I just feel so like I feel so calm and full of joy just being around them. I just, it's really wonderful. They all have blankets already next to them. They've been snuggling all morning. I dealt with trauma as a child, and so I want to help those who deal with the same thing, overcome boundaries, and learn to self-meditate and self-control their emotions. And the barn is where I learned to have my therapy. They exude this really like peaceful energy that's just really like compelling. I knew after COVID that there was a need for connection and animal human bonding was so important to me. I love animal assisted therapy activities and I wanted to provide that for others. It's like hugging a giant dog. These guys have been socialized since they were three weeks, five days old. This is all they know. They love it and they don't want to do anything else. When they see people who walk by and aren't coming into their paddock, they're mooing at them like, let's, why, why aren't we being friends. We have a few different personalities. We have Crackle, who's the head of the herd. He expects everyone to behave like a gentleman, even if he doesn't have to. We have Crunch, who is a big softy. He loves to lean into cuddlers and put his whole body weight into their side. And then we have Captain, who's also a big lover. He came from a home that he wasn't touched, so it took about three months to tame and docile him, but now he's obsessed with his job. It's just a nice outdoor experience that a lot of people, especially who live in urban areas around here, don't really get to experience as much and it's a good way to get outside and, and get some hands-on experience. You deserve that cow hug. From the beginning I explained that animal play for cows is headbutting and so these guys are trained of course not to but that of course could still happen in the session so I want people to be alert 24-7 when they walk into these paddocks with us. From there I tell them that we will get acquainted with the cows with maybe a few treats or with brushing and then the cows will choose whether they want to lay down in the session or if they want to be standing and then if they are rambunctious we'll go for walks but typically your session looks just like this. They've been desensitized being touched all over and they're gentle giants. He's just a big baby. After the session they leave or they write in the review book that they're very much relaxed and would love to come do this again.